everyone. Welcome back to my craft room. And if you're new here, welcome. And I hope you stick around. Today I'll be making this Christmas sign. The stockings were hung. And if you want to see how I make it, let's get started. I use this sign from the 4th of July and the chalkboard sign from the Dollar Tree. And I used a five gallon paint stick, these darling little bows from Hobby Lobby and these little stockings from Dollar General, elephant and white chalk paint, three medium sized cup hooks, and here is the barcode if anybody's interested in getting those from Amazon. I'll also be using these stickers, uh, hot glue, wood glue, and some ribbon. The first thing I wanted to do is to cut down my five gallon paint stick to size. So I just set it down on the bottom of that round, half round sign there and that's where I would be gluing it. Just marked it and then I'll cut it off with my miter saw. If you don't have a miter saw, you can always use an X-Acto knife. Then I didn't want the half round board to be real, real dark. So I took a little bit of the white paint and added it to the elephant and made just a little lighter of a gray color. And I gave that a couple coats and then I painted the five gallon stick white as well as the chalkboard. Now I tried to pop that chalkboard out of the frame and it did look like it was gonna break so I opted not to and I'll just be real careful when I go around the edges. And I will uh, keep a, a makeup wipe or wake makeup remover wipe right by me that way if i do get any paint on the chalkboard i can wipe it away real fast before it dries and i took a ruler and you see the two holes uh, where the jute was hanging from the fourth of july sign i'm going to use that as a guide and i'll put a cup holder at that mark or on those two marks and then one directly in the center so I simply marked that onto the paint stick and now I'm gonna glue it down with some wood glue and some hot glue. And now it's time to apply the stickers. My sign is going to say the stockings were hung, but you don't have to uh, put that saying, you could put and the stockings were hung, dot, 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 or your last name, uh, stockings were hung, you know, whatever you wanna put. And you don't have to use stickers. That's what I'm choosing to use today. I don't have good handwriting, but you could always, you know, use regular chalk or a chalk writer. So I just take it and see, I lost an E. I'm not real good at the ruler deal either. Um, if anyone has any tips for me, using a ruler to make your letters straight, let me know down in the comment section. I tend to struggle with this part. Um, I They tear on me or I lose a letter, <laughs> but anyway, I, I do the best I can. So here I am applying my stickers and it's going to say the stockings were hung.
Then I got my painter's tape out and I thought, okay, I'm going to try this on the uh, two words were hung. And that seemed to work better for me. I don't know why I didn't do that in the beginning. But anyway, this is another way to get your words straight as well. Then I'm going to take the sign, the stockings were hung, and I'm going to glue it with some hot glue onto the half circle sign, as you see here. Then I screw in my cup holder hooks, and I'm starting with the middle there, and I'm just making sure I'm getting it in the middle and I'm just counting the centimeters. I think it was 22 so or 23, so I went 11 and a half centimeters down, and that was my center. And then I took the cup holder and I just took the screw part and wiggled it back and forth to get my hole started. And the wood is really soft on these paint sticks, so they're not hard to screw in at all. And off camera, I decided to spackle the holes where the jute was hanging from the chalkboard sign. And I just filled the holes in and touched it up with some paint. But you might want, if you want to make this, you might want to do that before you paint. <laughs> Save yourself some trouble. The little stockings were hung by some jute and it was the jute was applied to the front of the stocking which I couldn't I guess if you're hanging it on a tree it would work great but I didn't like the way it hung so I took some black ribbon and I just made a little loop glued it together and glued it to the back of each stocking and when I was cutting the jute off, I just pulled down that white fur and got real, real close to the edge there so you wouldn't see where it was glued together. Then I'm going to take those darling little plaid bows I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to glue one right to the top of each hook. And then I wanted to cover the back of my sign, so I'm going to take some Mod Podge, spread it completely over the sign, and then add some brown wrapping paper to the top. Once it's dry, I'll sand the edges down and it'll just peel right off for me. And then I'm going to take two craft sticks and I'm going to glue those onto the back. And that's where I will be applying my command hooks. I use command hooks a lot on my projects because I, you know, I have a lot of projects and I don't want to put a whole bunch of, you know, holes in my wall. <laughs> so, but if you didn't want to use a command hook, you can just add your jute right to these craft sticks. That way your paper won't pull away from your project. And this project was done. And all that was left to do is hang my stockings. I think this came out so adorable. I'm really loving that black and white buffalo check this year. <laughs> or as my husband would say, buffalo chip. He cracks me up every time he says that. Um, 
I hope you're all staying safe out there and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.